Hello. Hello. Oh. Welcome to another show. What did you do? Oh, welcome another, to another show with this fat bastard. Oh, knocked my microphone out. She's fat. What's wrong with you? Hi, my name is Hobo Tom. You're watching the, the hobo and I guess almost girlfriend show. Still working on that, folks. But we shall see. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I had breakfast this morning, too. Yeah, because I'm still at work. Or I'm doing my work, which is fun. It's always fun to do work at home. So much easier. Life, but more importantly, just for you folks, um, have one announce or. One scheduling thing. And some predictions. Dr. Tom doesn't like coming over here. I don't know why he doesn't like that. I guess he doesn't like me. Maybe I'll have him on next. Maybe he'll do, do all elite wrestling. Maybe he likes better wrestling. Because right now, WWE has been pretty interesting. I know there's been a huge debate about the... Kabuki Warriors, which I did not know has two meanings, but it sounds about right from the little I know about Japanese culture. I know even less about Japanese culture than I do Chinese culture. And again, Kabuki to me was always dealing with the theater. But I guess it is, I guess there's also a second meaning. Whereas it can be anyone, for the most part, who's a woman, I think, who's flamboyantly dressed. Hey, I just try to do some research about it. Try to educate myself. Try to make my try to make myself better. Oh, what is going to be match of the night? Snooze. Oh, wow, did I have a double snooze? Wow. No, I can't have a double snooze. That's unfair. I do have a little bonus. But enough about that. Let's talk about some money in the bank. Oh, I wonder if I should show you my little container of money. My boat fund money. <laughs> Not the way things are going at work. Although maybe the price of aluminum will go up. Oh, but unfortunately, there's also one sad note. I don't remember seeing her. So I think this is when I kind of tuned out of the WWE mainly because I think every night was a bra and panties match. And there was, I think during this, Eric Bischoff's. H L A Hot Lesbian Action. And yes, it was great for one or two. But when it happened every single time over and over again. If it didn't meet the expectations of the previous show, it kind of fell flat. And I think the wrestling at this time was lackluster. I think the only notable person was, I think, Chris Jericho. Well, the two notables that I remember, Chris Jericho, probably Edge, and Randy Orton. But things were not good in the WWE at the time. Unfortunately, um, there was a death. Ashley Mastaro passed away, I think yesterday, either yesterday or late Wednesday. Yeah, it's either Wednesday night, Thursday ish. I didn't see a lot of her. I think that's when they were really the, right before the 
Divas time period when it was known for scantily clad women, um, women licking each other, which isn't bad, but when you watch wrestling, yeah, it was kind of cool, but it was, again, that, that same thing over and over and over again. And the women's wrestling for its time was terrible. So with that being said, um, unfor- this, is, this is weird because than me. Man, I have to be careful. I think 51 is the magic age where wrestlers die, and I'm only eight years away from that. That's not good. Well, not from dying, I hope, but so I'm 43, 51. Yeah, that's eight years. That was, of course, Silver King. We made a tribute to video. And this little tribute, again, person who probably passed away way too soon. I don't really want to speculate, but when you go that early, something's amiss. So again, Ashley Massaro passed away at age 39, either yesterday or Wednesday night. But again, she was part of pro wrestling and the WWE. Here's a little quick tribute to her. I don't remember her in the ring. I don't remember her skill set. I think she teamed up with Maria Kanellis once. Maria Kanellis is famous for a lot of stuff. Just watch some New Japan stuff. I think the New Japan interaction between Maria Kanellis, Carl Anderson, and AJ Styles. So you have to go back a little bit. Let's talk about some money in the bank. Right behind my head there. Yeah. Well, I'm almost pointing towards it. I have my little briefcase kind of hiding back there with my money in the bank. This is WWE's money in the bank. Um, I've done a little research. I think there's going to be about there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. About 12 matches. Either. Somewhere between 10 and 12 matches. 10 for sure. Maybe 12. So I'll say the two bonuses for this video, if I get them right, I can bump myself up. And I take away one wrong choice. Remember, I can be many things. I could be inside Vince's head, which is the highest honor. You get one or, get one or two matches wrong. You get Triple H. Pretty solid guy. I can guess what he's going to do. Um, right above 50 50 booking, you have Stephanie McMahon. Because she's someone in control. And then you have the 50 50 booking. Uh, right beneath that, you have the Smark. And then underneath that, you just have the guy falling asleep in the stadium. So, with all that being all that said. Here, let me do just a little work here. And yes, you'll probably see me doing work on Sunday because I have to work until 9.30 on my computer. So that's three and a half hours of you guys getting glimpses into the hobo lifestyle. Especially when you have one job whose stock is less than freaking McDonald's Happy Meal. No bueno. I have to keep that private. Heaven forbid my boss watches my boss watches my YouTube channel. That's funny. But let's start off with some more wrestling action. So I think my numero uno bonus. And I have to think of something. You know what? I am gonna make 
I think. I'll see this as a bonus. The Iconics! Take on the Kabuki Warriors and Kyrie Sane and Asuka. Um, if that team, if, if they do face each other, I think the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka, and Kyrie Sane are going to win. That's my prediction. Again, this is a bonus because it's been said, it's, I think it was reported one website so there might be this match. One website, I think, had 11 matches. One website had 12, and this would be the 12th match. And I don't know if that's going to be the pre show or not. It's kind of that up in the air, what is Vince thinking right now thing. If we get to the pre show, um, you have Tony Nese versus Ari Davari. Tony Nese, I think, is going to retain. He hasn't held that, that cruiserweight belt long. And to go into a prolonged feud with Ari Davari going to. We can go to SummerSlam with this. Because again, you can just do a whole bunch of matches. If not, I'm fine with an ending, but Tony Nice retains. And you have Daniel Bryan and Rowan versus the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team Champ. Wait, where are the Raw Belts? Oh, wow. There are no Raw Belts. Wait a second. This is going to be an interesting pay-per-view. Enough about that, though. Daniel Bryan versus, and Rowan versus the Usos. I think I have Daniel Bryan and Rowan, Rowan winning only because I think I have a whole bunch of other baby faces winning. I need some heels because if not, it seems way too obvious. So I say Daniel Bryan and Rowan beat the Usos. That should be a pretty fun match. I don't know why. Why would you put Daniel Bryan and the Usos in the pre-show? I don't know. And then you have Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio for the U.S. title. I think Rey Mysterio is going to win. I think this is going to be a pretty good hot potato feud. Um, bouncing that belt between Samoa Joe, Rey Mysterio, and... Eventually, he gets in the picture. Andrade, Cien Almas. So, Rey Mysterio is going to win. Then you have, in the steel cage, The Miz versus Shane McMahon. I think The Miz has to win this. Um, Shane has nothing to gain by winning in a steel cage. At least Shane gets to go away for a little bit. So, I think The Miz retains. It's going to make him look strong. That makes sense. And, here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do champ champ in a row because... No idea what the order is. I just know she was she had an opponent. So Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. I have Becky going over in a pretty good match. So yeah, I can see that being the longer definitely of, of her two matches. But Becky still retains her title. And that's for these SmackDowns. I should do that too, under. Yeah, I have to figure out figure out some stuff. Then Becky Two Belts also gets to face Lacey Evans for the. I think that's for the that's for the Raw Women's Champion. Charles for the SmackDowns. But I think they signed the wrong contracts last time. We'll see what happens. I'm not a big fan of Lacey Evans. She's okay in the ring. She can give an okay promo. I just don't know. I saw her first match. Granted, she has come a long way. It was not good. So I think, unfortunately, this is going to be the match of the night. And then let's see here. Uh, let's get to some of the more exciting action. You have the women's money in the bank. Bailey's going to win, I think. Um, gee, I forget who else. So it's Bailey, Ember Moon, Carmella. I think they're going to put in Nikki Cross. Because Alexa Bliss wasn't cleared. Naomi. 
What am I missing? Oh, Mandy Rose. And no, I'm missing one from each side. But whoever it is that's not winning, it's going to be Bailey. That could be interesting. Ember Moon will do something pretty interesting, though. So that'll be a good thing. Then you have the men's money in the bank. I don't care because I think Drew McIntyre is going to win. And this is my stone cold lock. Because in that, it's Finn Balor. He's not winning. He's already IC champion. Sami Zayn already had his moment because he got in the match. Drew McIntyre, Baron Corbin, Andrade kind of had his moment. Ricochet already came out. I already mentioned Drew. Who's number eight? Whoever it is isn't winning anyway. So it's Drew McIntyre. See the Scottish headbot reign supreme. Then you have Roman Reigns versus Elias. Roman Reigns, I think, is going to win. They're going to give again the face, the face, the win. Yeah, that's good. That makes sense. Bailey could cash in. With Becky, any that would that'd be fun. Or Bailey gets something. Goes to smack, beats Charlotte. That would be fun too. But yeah, Bailey makes. It. Roman Reigns is going over. He's going to defeat Elias. Ace wins. Then we get to the interesting matches. Um, Kofi Kingston versus Kevin Owens. I'm torn because I don't think Kofi's a transitional champion. But this is one of those things where they could hot potato that belt between the two of them. And really have something going for SummerSlam. I think... Let's switch up. Kofi Kingston's going to retain. But somehow, I know Biggie's injured, but he could literally just show up. Xavier Woods is kayfabe injured. He could show up because that would give more fuel to Kevin Owens saying that, yeah, you need the New Day. So Kofi winning makes sense. Kofi Kingston wins. Then in probably the main event, you have Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. I think AJ's going to go over. And I have a Honey feeling only because again I do kind of watch the wrestling shows. Brock Lesnar might distract Seth enough to cause Seth to lose the belt. AJ picks up the belt, and then they have oh those two could have a feud going into SummerSlam too. So I'm gonna say AJ Styles, but more importantly, this is the match. Of the night. And those are my predictions. Let's see, let me just do one thing very quickly. So let me get kicked out and I mean, oh wow, that's, that's pretty good. I thought that would be a lot. Oh, let's see here. I have no. Wow, that's weird. That's a funky one, there, folks. So those are my predictions. Um, just some very quick programming notes. Yeah, I sound almost professional when I say programming notes. On Saturday, I am off to NXT Sanford. Um, fishing trip. Uh, kind of. Got busted up because the transmission's broken in the boat. Not going anywhere on bad transmission. 
not a good idea. Um, I'm not scheduled to work, so I can actually really do everything I need to do Saturday. So I'm going to NXT Stanford on Saturday. So that means probably that night you'll get my live, well, my somewhat live reaction. So you'll get some live action or taped live action. My reactions on that match. Ooh, I gotta find my little notebook. Oh, there it is. Okay. I need to get a new one one of those days. And hopefully Candice LeRae shows up again. Because this time I'm going to be ready. I'm going to wait in line. If no one gets there, I'm, I'll just walk out and get a cheap seat somewhere. But my Candice LeRae picture. Ready to be signed. Look, look at that face. Dude, that sounds creepy. And if I do get this, I'm going to go up there in perpetuity. And I also have to figure out the... Ooh, I, could, I should do that. For my nephews. That'd be a decent, well, cheapo birthday gift. But enough about that. Um, so Wednesday, um, so what am I talking about? Saturday. Saturday is going to be another video, kind of liveish video from Sanford. I'll apologize in advance for the quality. Um, I have my El Cheapo camera, and Sanford Air Arena does not have the best acoustics nor lighting. I have sometimes a whole bunch of other technical issues there. Sunday, well, I and well, I have to set it up too. I have to make a thing for that. It's going to be Money in the Bank, and I, I'm making that gift tonight. It's going to be Money in the Bank. It's going to be a live stream reaction because I figured out how to get some wrestling for free. Email me if you want it. Um, again, Monday it's going to be Monday Night Raw. Tuesday SmackDown. Wednesday or Thursday, I may or may not have a special guest on, and we'll do some Double or Nothing previews, because then Saturday, going to the NXT here in Daytona Beach. Again, you might see another someone special there. And probably do a reaction Sunday, or kind of a... Recap review Sunday of Double or Nothing. So I've got a lot of wrestling going on. And then, of course, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, Monday is a double wrestling day because Monday I do.